Hey guys, it's Mimus Reaper, and we're starting off Stormblood. It's taken a while, but we're finally here. And this is the Siren Song Sea. The first dungeon and duty that you will enter in Stormblood, which is the second expansion after Aram Reborn. Because it goes Aram Reborn, then the expansion of Heaven Sword. And then Stormblood. Um, hello. My carbuncle is also out. Ooh, we have a red mage. First off, we just gotta kill these banshees that have come onto the ship. We've gotta do this twice, as another batch will appear as soon as we've killed off this batch. And then the real fun begins. Also, you might notice that I don't, will not be getting any XP for this one, but that is because my summoner is actually max level at the moment, it's level 90. But that is fine. I only recently got summoner up to level 90 as well. Do some ruin. And then we'll switch over to some outburst, I think. And then back onto Ruin. Okay, and was that our second batch? Yes, it was. So then we go up here. Island dead ahead. And then we're on an island which we crash landed. So we've got this sort of like snail thing, a scorpion, a few more banshees just to contend with. Hi! Banshee. Why, why have I got aggro? No, no aggro. Fine. I am no longer aggroed. Hee hee hee. Oh, let's move out of the way of that. And then I'm going to focus mainly on this reflection of. Carlaboss? I probably barged up that name, but it's fine. Scorpion. And it's the last thing to be rid of before we get onto the first boss, which is just dead ahead. I'm sorry, my L's and legs aren't that fast. I will summon in all of my stuff. Nope. Come on. Yep. Okay, so that just covers up like half of the arena or wherever the tank has the boss. Stack marker just means, you know, stack upon your party or else they take the brunt of the damage and it's mainly just a one-shot kill if that is so. Summoning Garuda, Swallow's Hole will make it so you go into the middle 
Just run out to where is, you know, safe. Half of the arena will be covered up. Get to the safe spot again. And just continue your fighting. Of course, again, move to the safe spot. Knockout. Someone should have a stack marker on them. Go to them. Ow. Carbuncle. Shield me. Because a summoner's heal is so bad. The <laughs> psychic is so bad. In my opinion. I hate it. Roll for your loot. And there we go. There is actually a slope that you can go down without having to jump. And here your character quiver in pain. After they land wrong because they're in healed boots. Maybe my own decision there, isn't it? I'm in thigh high boots with a very small heel. No joke, okay? But like all of my glamours feature those boots and it's a pair of boots that you can only get from Shadowbringers. A raid in Shadowbringers. But we'll get to that later on. Like, I don't know. If I work it out, how long is this? Probably about maybe summer, autumn time, maybe like a year from now. We might be in <laughs> Shadowbringers. Maybe. I'll have to look up the um, schedule again. Ooh, those are new. I don't think I've ever seen those drop. Those earrings. Okay, so this one, you, I probably only really focus on the big guy to start off with. But I know other people focus on the smaller guys. Um, just so there's less ads to contend with. Uh, this, you just need to keep moving around whenever there is a AoE that is like at your feet. So you don't get the burn debuff. I think it is. Which will just mean that you take damage over time. Until you're no longer burning. Once those are all gone, you can then get onto the second boss, which is the governor. Oh. And now he will have this little thing where he basically enshrouds part of the arena in this darkness. You don't exactly want to stand in the darkness. It's bad, bad. It is very bad. Blood burst. That's just a sort of like to everyone. And tonight. So someone will be selected. They just then need to be put in the middle and then run to uh, away from the boss. Pretty much. Uh, Shadow Split will see him summon in some little ads 
You don't need to attack the ads as they don't have like a damage thing. But they sort of give an idea as to where the darkness will form. And there will be like four areas that are safe. So stand in one of those four areas. Ow. Oh, and now I've been chosen, so, you know, hi. Run. And if you don't, you get this um, debuff, which is up here. I think it's the magic vulnerability. So you take more damage to, like, the blood, um, bath, move, and everything else. It's a nasty little debuff. Especially since all he does is magic based damage. Okay. Her dungeon, inside of a dungeon. I think I've run this a few times with duty support. And it's something that I think Lise says is a dungeon? Either Lise or um, Cav, I can't remember his full name, um, but he will tank if you are, you know, a healer or a DPS. I'm going to focus on this Undead Warden. GG heal! <laughs> what? I'm not healing anyone. Yeah, GG. Oh, did the tank like be close to death? <laughs> Crossing into that plane. Oh, hello. And then we've got some Warden Hounds. Will this tank take us to the next section? Now there's a question. Yes. Yes they are. Ooh. Right, I'm going to open up this coffer and then talk about this little mechanic. You see that fleshless captive over there? Oh, Lord. Yeah, as I said, Psychic is horrible. So, Casting Dark. I've sort of got him there just so I can see his um, moves. There is a certain move that the tank needs to interrupt. And it's not Dark. I know, shocking. Should happen at some point. No, are you just going to cast dark and make me look a fool? Come on. Here it is. Seductive scream. The tank should interrupt it. But this tank has not. So you get seduced. And then flooded. Ow. So yeah, tanks interrupt that. Or if you have a physical melee, so a bard, a machinist, a dancer, they can also interrupt it. But any other DPS cannot. Uh, I don't think healers have an interrupt either. Uh, start of scream again. I want to get far away as possible. Oh, we just missed it. Okay. And we have another cutscene. Pretty. And they are all waiting. Hi. Pretty 
much do the starting rotation for me at the minute until I actually learn its actual rotation. So with this one, uh, you will be forced to either advance or retreat. And this one is advance, so I'm going to turn around. If you do stand within one of these circles, I think the debuff is bleed. Um, which is just a damage over time debuff that you will get. And it's just the main attack that, you know, you need to focus on. I'm going to stand a little bit more. And you just need to have a look at which one you get. Slumber Metal ID. Oh, I didn't want that one. I wanted Garuda. Some more Virgin Tears. Okay, and I'm kind of stood in that. Morbid Retreat, I am safe where I am. It just means that I will be running backwards. <laughs> or, you know, I'll turn and retreat that way. Get back into the middle. And we have some more. Either way, I'm safe here because I can just uh, rotate myself. There we go. And run backwards. This time, though, yep. Got that. The sides. Come on. There we go. And we've got a limit break happening. I don't... Oh, get off me. There we go. And... Yeah. A little introduction to Stormblood. And so the weather has cleared. I remember actually wearing this outfit during Stormblood. It was great. And I was on Black Mage. Okay, and everyone is done. So guys, if you like that video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Stay safe, explore Eorzea, and well, peace out. Bye!